It's a beautiful morning. Mihari wakes up to an unbelievable sight. Huh? Huh? Mihari couldn't believe her eyes. My hero is awake this early? Better make sure the apocalypse kid is stocked up. The corner store is selling sheet protectors of my hero's favorite anime. She wants it. Wait, does that mean you are going out? Yes, Mihari feels like the world is ending because my hero has changed. I'll treat you a nice lunch when you get back, okay? She walked across an arcade that she used to come here all the time when she was in middle school. She tries a photo booth. Hee hee, I'm cute. Suddenly her identity crisis strikes again. So she ran away. She tries a rhythm game. She was doing really good at it until a man appears. Oh shit! Oh shit! She notices the man's presence. Oh no performance drop. Girls who play rhythm games probably seem like easy targets. I am sorry mister, but I am not that kind of girl. Small girl, shouldn't you be in school? Huh? What school do you go to? Your name? What year? Help me, help me, help me, help me! Sometimes later, the outside world is scary. She forgot today was a weekday so kids would all be at school. Just when she tried to venture the outside world, tragedy struck. Ah! She needs to find a solution before Mahiro is forever scared to go out. After shower, Mihari noticed Mihiro got split ends on her hair. Mihari cuts it for her. Take better care of it. Let's just cut it all off instead. Shut your bitches! Don't you realize how difficult it is to grow hair out that long? Well, mine fucking grew in one night. Mihari got an idea. She is taking Mihiro to a hair salon. Here they are. Bro is afraid of a salon. Please no. How about a two inch trim? Yes. Let me know if it feels off. First time on a hair salon? You middle school? She is glad it's finally over. Shampoo time. She thinks my hero has a gorgeous hair. Maybe a hair salon is not so bad after all. Is it too hot? Ha ah, no. Blood did not waste this opportunity. It's finally done. Now your hair treatment. Huh? Then there is no other choice. Nap time. My hero, my hero, wake up. It's done. She is surprised on how it actually turned out. You look just like a princess. Princess? My hero wonders if her hair will feel fluffy forever. Sometimes later. Yo, what the fuck? What's going on? It's a costume, dumbass. Today is Halloween, remember? She hates celebrating this kind of holidays. Really? But Kaide is having a party. Guess you are not coming, yes? She dresses up. Trick or treat. Kaide really loves her costume. Oh yes, more Halloween, yes. Well, Mahiro, you really went the extra mile this time, huh? Huh? She is the only one wearing a costume. So this is your dress, Mihari? This is not a costume. E fashionless. Let's go to my room. Huh? Your room? Vietnam flashbacks. You know I really wanted to see Kaide in a costume. Well, she does have a really nice body. And then there is me. A table. At least you have some. By the way, do you think that rubbing them makes them grow bigger? Dinner is ready. It looks really good. Mihari thinks it has been a while since they had dinner in a group like this. Mihari and Mihiro's parents have been overseas for a while. Oh yeah, doesn't your brother ever come home? Oh shit! Oh shit! What you talking about? She remembers the lie she told last episode. Yeah yeah college, Kaide realized she never got to meet him. You used to talk a lot about him in middle school, also anyways, she thinks they all should go on a trip together. She is glad they didn't dig in deeper on the brother thing, they are now on their way home. By the way about what Kaide said, my hero is fine with whatever she says behind her back, it doesn't matter anymore anyways. Well she wasn't bad mouthing her at all, another day doing nothing. Mihari knows that Mihiro is still afraid after the encounter at the arcade, so time to execute plan B. Suddenly the bell rang. Yes? Mihiro is here. 